Mr. President, do you have a reaction to the hospital blitz in Gaza? It's a terrible thing. It's a shame. And we got to get it working over there. It should have never happened. The attack on Israel should have never happened. And it wouldn't have happened if they had a different president. I can tell you that. Thank you. And then you're ready to call for help from Jordan. Yep, that was a pretty uninspiring and terrible speech by Donald Trump, but I'm not the only one who thinks so. In case you couldn't hear, that was a reporter commenting on Trump's lackluster response to the situation in Israel and Gaza. Uh, but then again, he's got a lot on his mind. You don't know what's going on. I've been wasting a lot of time on a case that should have never been brought. You see what's happening. The, gov the government lied. They just lied. They didn't uh, reveal all of the information that they had. They didn't reveal all the evidence that made me totally innocent of anything that they said. The government lied. They totally misrepresented the case. So, unfortunately, I have to be here. I'm not campaigning. I have to be here for this. Well, maybe next time, Donnie, you could not lie about your finances. But the worst part is that he really thinks he's actually winning. This trial is a disgrace. This trial is a disgrace. Should have never been brought. And if you watched what just took place in the courthouse, if you reported it, Honestly, and I'm sure you will, because there's really no other way you can report it. The government lied. They knew everything about what just took place. And the government lied, and they lied to the people. The attorney general lied because he wanted to get elected by using Trump. There he is, once again, saying someone else is at fault. It's not him. It couldn't be him. Even though he had to approve all of the overvaluations of his properties when it came time to get the loans and the devaluation of his properties when it came time to pay taxes. Now, people make excuses. They go, you know, real estate, New York real estate, people do this all the time. So let's start, first of all, by saying that's illegal. Even if they're doing it, that's illegal. You're supposed to sign. The reason you sign is to say, I am confirming the value of this property and it's based on some appraisal or, or, or some other actual mathematical uh, uh, analysis, but he's signing these things off and then he was trying to blame, his lawyers were trying to blame his accounting firm and his accounting firm was saying, no, you, you can't blame us. There's a reason why you sign because that ultimately says that you're aware of the valuation that you're using. Now let's set all of this aside. Let's look at the pattern. Every time Donald Trump does something wrong, he blames other people. He's the opposite of, uh, of Harry Truman who said the buck stops here. With Donald Trump, the buck stops there or there, or there, or there. Never here, he's never wrong. And yet, he finds himself in the middle of four, five, six court cases. I've lost count at this point. Um, people say that, oh, these, the, his, court, his, his court cases are going to interfere with his, uh, uh, with his election schedule. Uh, I say that his election schedule is going to interfere with his court cases. He's got a lot of court cases. And ultimately, listen, folks, even if you support the guy, at some point, you got to go, well, maybe he did something wrong. It feels like his followers are in an abusive relationship. And he keeps saying, it wasn't me. I didn't, listen, I didn't, I beat you because you brought it upon yourself. Because, you know, you, you, you pushed me over the edge and I had to beat you. And, the, and then they're saying, yeah, you're right, you're right. And then he does it again. This says, you're right, you're right. Ultimately, if somebody has co committed crimes throughout their career, from the beginning, he was doing this inflation of, of, his, of his properties, the, 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 the value of his properties. He, was, uh, he, he paid the hush money in the elections, which that's another case he's on. And then more importantly, he tried to overthrow democracy. So there's the federal case against him for January 6th. There's the Georgia case against them for January 6th for trying to go down to Georgia. And he said it on the phone. He told the Secretary of State in Georgia, get me 11,000 so-and-so number of votes. We heard it. We know that, the, that, the, that, the, that he was involved in this election fraud. And actually in the Georgia case, um, Sidney Powell, one of the people who was involved in that, has now pleaded guilty and will probably end up giving much needed information 
that's going to be first-hand information that's going to help bring Donald Trump down in that case. And then, of course, you have the, uh, the classified documents case. Again, his supporters go, well, Biden had classified documents. Mike Pence had classified documents. Yes, and when asked, they returned it. They didn't hide it in a toilet, in the bathroom. They didn't, they didn't obstruct justice. They didn't share the information with randoms. We have, again, Donald Trump on tape bragging about the, the classified documents that he had and showing it to people when he shouldn't be. So the guy is a criminal. We all know this. And yet he's showing up at court in New York and blaming everybody else but himself. By the way, he said he has to show up at court. He doesn't have to show up at court. He could choose not to show up at court. He could stay out on the campaign trail. He wants to show up at court because he knows that this helps him get money from his followers. Donald Trump is the number one televangelist in America right now. Without preaching every day religious, religious doctrine, he is basically getting these folks that in the past used to give their monies to all of these televangelists who would then go off and buy private jets, they're giving their money now to Donald Trump. And it's helping him pay for all of his legal costs. So I hope they wake up and they realize that if you can have conservative values, just find someone who's not committing crimes. That's all. If you want to win in the election, I think that's the way to go. He's a bad human being, folks. Check yourself. See why you're supporting him and maybe move on to somebody else who might have the same values as you. And you can support that person. My name is Maz Jobrani. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm on tour. Go to mazjobrani.com. Come check me out all over the country. Hope to see you soon. And uh, wake up. Wake up. <laughs>